This video will be the first one in a series of x-ray case videos. If you have little or no experience in reading x-rays, I suggest you take a look at my other video on how to read chest x-rays. These videos will work by first presenting a case history with some clinical information. The clinical information may be useful for where you should try to focus while reading the x-rays. And after that, the x-rays will be presented to you and you should pause the video and use the time you need to evaluate the x-rays. Thereafter, I will present and show the findings and come with the diagnosis. Only the abnormal findings will be presented. In our first case, we have a 74-year-old female. She presents with a general feeling of illness and weakness for about four months. She reports that she has less appetite than before and that she has unintentionally lost 13 kilos of weight over the last months. She also reports that she has a cough that has gotten gradually worse. A PA view and a lateral view x-ray were taken, which are shown here. Pause the video and take some time to look. What we can see here are multiple small and round infiltrates. Many of them can be seen throughout both lungs. Here I have marked some of them with red arrows, but there are many more seen both on the PA and the lateral view images. We can also see that both of the sinuses are slurred, especially the right lung's sinus are not clearly shown. Let's quickly compare with a completely normal x-ray. Here we can see that both the sinuses are clear and pointy. This is exactly how it should look like in normal cases. In our case, however, the sinuses are slurred and rounded. This is because the area is in the lowest part of the lung where fluid will accumulate first. All in all, especially with the first finding, we can conclude with multiple cancerous metastasis to the lungs with a slight amount of pulmonary edema due to the cancer. What kind of cancer it is is unknown and other examinations must be performed. In our second case, we have a 50-year-old female. She presents with a history of five days of cough, fever and headache, and she has a reduced general condition. Blood tests were taken, which showed a CRP of 228 milligrams per liter. In case you don't know, C-reactive protein, or CRP for short, is a common blood test taken to check for inflammation. On clinical examination, we find coarse inspiratory whistle sounds over both lungs while auscultating. A PA view and a lateral view x-ray were taken, which are shown here. Pause the video and take some time to examine. The first thing that we see is an area of consolidation prominent in the right lung. Consolidation is when the normal air-filled space, which normally shows as black, now becomes whitish. It becomes this way as fluid accumulates. We can see the same consolidation here on the lateral view image. The consolidation has some clear demarcations uh, showing an exact location as seen on both the PA and the lateral view images. And these clear demarcations is a sign that the consolidation only affects one specific part of the lung. If we check the anatomy of the lung, we can conclude that it is the middle lobe of the right lung that is affected. But wait, that is not the only place where we can see an abnormality. Remember the happy finders bias. If you find something at first, you should still perform the whole examination procedure as there can be more. This x-ray is an example of just that. Here we have more consolidation in the basal part of the left lung, seen on the PA view image. It is, however, difficult to see on the lateral view image. We can also see that there is a slight amount of fluid accumulated in both sinuses, just like in the first case. With all of these changes in mind, we can conclude with bilateral pneumonia located to the right middle lobe and the left inferior lobe. For our third case, we have an 89-year-old female. She arrived with a complaint of troubled breathing. On examination, we find that she has a slightly low SpO2 level, and while auscultating, we can hear some crepitations over the left lung. Two X's were taken, which show the following. Pause the video again and take some time to evaluate.
if you look closely at this part here, you might have noticed something odd, though it is quite well hidden. Inside the green and the blue marked area, we have a cavity. The blue part is air and the green part is liquid. This can be said as air is darker while liquid is lighter. The same structure can be seen on the lateral image with the blue marked portion is air and the green marked portion is liquid. In addition to these findings, we can see that we have increased vascular markings. This is most likely a result of the first finding causing a pressure buildup in the lungs. To explain here, we can compare with a normal x-ray. As you can see, in a normal x-ray, the lungs get darker the more and more you go towards the periphery, as the blood vessels become increasingly smaller. In our case, however, the vessels are enlarged throughout the whole lungs, giving a general lighter color. All in all, these changes gave us a conclusion of an hiatus hernia. The location, the size, and the air-liquid differentiation is classical for a hiatus hernia. In the next case, we have a 76-year-old male with a known COPD diagnosis from before. He presents with an increased amount of cough and a feeling of not being able to breathe. He also has fever. Two x-rays were taken, a PA and a lateral view image, which look like this. Pause now and look. We can see some possible consolidation on the lateral picture here in the basal part. It is not visible in the PA picture though, so it is not consolidation for sure. The second big thing we can see here is that the lungs are hyperinflated. It is the easiest seen on the lateral image. Let's compare the lateral image with a normal x-ray for an easier explanation. The normal image is on the left and our abnormal case is on the right. The first sign of lung hyperinflation you should see is how straight the diaphragma is. In a normal x-ray, the diaphragma is quite curved, but in this case, it is much more straight. Second, the anterior posterior diameter is increased as visualized here compared to the normal x-ray. Let's go back to the two pictures from the patient. The third thing we can see in this patient are fibrotic changes throughout the lungs. Fibrotic changes can be seen as these reticular shadowing or net-like shadowing areas. Here I have marked some of these areas of fibrosis, but this patient unfortunately has extensive fibrotic changes in both lungs. All in all, these findings lead to the conclusion of COPD with possible consolidation. Consolidation may mean that it is a pneumonia present. The patient has known COPD from before and these findings support that. Our fifth case is a 46 year old male. He smokes cigarettes daily and he comes to the ER today with complaints of chest pain over the left thorax. We also find out that he has lost weight over the last months unintentionally. How much weight, we don't know. Blood tests shows that he has leukocytosis. Again, a PA and a lateral view image were taken, which show the following. Pause and take some time to look. Now, this is a bit of a difficult one. There doesn't seem to be so much wrong with this one, and you would be forgiven if that was your conclusion. The first thing I notice is that the trachea deviates slightly towards the right lung. And second, and this is also easy to miss, is that the mediastinum is slightly enlarged. Remember the mediastinum should be maximally 25% of the width of the thorax, and here it is a bit more than 25%. Here you can see it compared to a normal x-ray. Now the mediastinum looks definitely more enlarged. And here it uh, looks like there is some kind of consolidation as well, but it is quite unsure. With these findings, we haven't confirmed anything, but the findings and the clinical presentation leads to a suspicion of a lung tumor close to the mediastinum. Further examinations have to be performed to confirm or unconfirm our suspicion. 
thank you for watching. I hope it has been educational. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. Cheers.